This week, we were blessed with some advice from MSNBC correspondent and Google Gemini Kate Gosselin, Joy Reid. Earlier, we talked about how Google erased white people from their AI history. One thing that was nice is that the AI was stupid enough just to state the left's position on everything without any sugarcoating. And here we have another example of that refreshing stupidity. Reid made a video in response to Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville's statement that, quote, we need more kids. Let's take a look at her, and I'll be generous here, arguments. Number one. The United States has a population of north of 327 million people. Why do we need more kids? So we don't need more American babies because we're already overcrowded. Number two. Your party, Senator Tuberville, is the one screaming that 10 million immigrants have streamed into the country since Joe Biden has been president and you're claiming that that's too many people. But now you're saying we need more kids? But when it comes to immigrants, there's plenty of room. Number three. There was a time when the state of Alabama absolutely needed more kids because, you know, Alabama was a slave state and the mandate was for black women to produce more kids. Are you saying the state of Alabama needs more kids because you think that those populations will include people who are maybe destitute and desperate enough if you kick out the immigrants like a lot of y'all want to do and you could make them do the work that the migrants are doing now? Because that kind of sounds slavery-ish. We don't need more black kids because the immigrants are already doing all the slave jobs. And then number four. I mean, you're also a white guy. Are you saying the we is white folks need more kids? Is this like a great replacement thing? Because it's a little creepy. White kids are creepy. Okay, I think I've got it. So if Tuberville wants more black kids, that's anti-immigrant, which is racist and bad. And if Tuberville wants more white kids, that's pro-white, which is racist and bad. Either way, he's an infidel. Reed is trying to say that we need more kids is secret code for the 14 words or whatever. She cannot comprehend how someone would say that the American birth rate is too low and also say that importing millions of third worlders is a bad idea. I mean, why would you want your own children when you can have MS-13 members and Congolese terrorists? Joy Reed has has three kids, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if they were replaced by some Somali pirates. Really, it's simple. America's birth rate is below replacement level. So if we want America to have a future, we need more Americans. The bad news for Joy Reid is that most of those Americans will be white. She sees a white baby and her first thought is, is that baby trying to enslave me? Some people read the Bible every morning. This gal watches that one scene from Roots. This is also a problem for the Democrats because more white people means more white Rural rage, the threat to American democracy. Thought Abraham Lincoln already wrote that book. So everyone agrees that if something is good, it should be preserved. But Joy Reid doesn't think that Americans are good, and so there shouldn't be more of them. This land was colonized by Europeans, and so now it needs to be decolonized by whoever the hell wants to. Let's take it out of America for a second. Right now, Japan's birth rate is at a record low. Two people are dying for every one born. Needless to say, this is bad for Japan. And the solution is not to import a bunch of non-Japanese people. Not if you want to preserve Japan. No one wants to see my neighbor cartel Totoro. Most leftists aren't dumb enough to put their crazy worldview on a platter like this. But this is what they all believe. They don't like people. They don't like America. Sometimes it takes some broad with llama hair wagging her head on Instagram to make it clear, but we don't have any excuse for not seeing it anymore. Elon Musk said it right. Right now, it's the pro-humans versus the anti-humans. That's the fight we're in. More people means more productivity. People aren't just consumers, they're producers. This can take things in a good direction, but only if the families are intact and the country's running the way it should. In short, people are good as long as they're good people. People. Because as much as I love humanity, not all of us are winners. I mean, some of us are, well, her.